Yeah, the 7-11 run series has been a staple in the Philippine sports community ever since it started in 2013. And now, almost a decade later, one of the country's most popular running events is back and ready to bring their runners to the virtual stage. Our very own Paulo Del Rosario sat down with 7-Eleven General Merchandise Division Head Jun Ang to find out what's new with the 7-Eleven Virtual Run 2021. All right, welcome the General Merchandise Division Head for 7-Eleven, Mr. Jun Ang, to tell us about something that has really been part of the fabric of the athletic community here in the Philippines. Of course, the 7-Eleven Virtual Run 2021 is happening. But sir, this yung virtual run, na to, it has been, well, it hasn't really been part of what 7-Eleven has been doing for the past few years. We heard about the fun runs. Can you tell us a bit about your history? Nito? Hi, good morning, Paul. And thank you for having us back here uh, with your fantastic uh, viewership. Uh, 7-Eleven Run Series has started last 2013 and it started with uh, Run 800 and because it connotes the, the number of store opening and now it builds up and for last year, we introduced the virtual run. The first time we did it uh, due to because of the pandemic and uh, the reason is that dahil hindi nakakalabas yung mga tao so we encourage them to do this virtually within their means no so they can do this within their treadmill they can uh, participate uh, running around within their backyard or what basta on a collective time diba? we encourage them to participate and to identify which race category that they want to to run which category so they can start from 500 meters for the kids and to the 42 kilometer on a collective time so it doesn't have to be done within the same day or within the same period. But for us, we did it within 30 days. But uh, everybody would enjoy it because it's a fun run. So this is actually the second staging of a virtual run, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. And, and how is this different compared to your first edition? Uh, the difference here is that uh, we still have the, the same uh, leg. We have Manila, Cebu, and Davao. And the difference here is that because we uh, promote, uh, we also support the government uh, program for the Vida Res Res Vacuna campaign. Mm -hmm. So we encourage all the all the people to get vaccinated, mm -hmm. to be part of the herd community. Yeah. So so that everybody would be protected. So with that, uh, we give out free uh registration with a with a minimum purchase of the participating uh, category uh distance that they're gonna into uh but but if you're not vaccinated it's also welcome for you to join uh but you have to uh pay for the full amount so uh, there's a discount for for those who are vaccinated similar what what's the other retailers doing no they they're giving uh some freebies uh some discount uh, to those who are vaccinated no I just show the vaccination card something like that yeah a little incentive for uh, going through the whole vaccination process getting vaccinated and uh, whatever side effects that you actually do feel so ito yung reward nyo uh, may libre uh, registration to 7-eleven uh, virtual run 2021 and sir we also are wondering are are there any prizes medals awaiting because virtual run nga to eh. some people might not know how it works Actually, once you submitted the time uh, and you uploaded your run, if you want to, because if you uplo uploaded your run, it will be uh, uh, collectively uh, put up on an MTV and will be shown on the global ESPN. Mm -hmm. And once you finished it, uh, registration, uh, there would be uh, finisher medal, finishing shirt, uh, also, there would be easy certificate and sponsors product that would be uh, credited to your account. You know, this has been going on for a while. And actually, right before we started recording this, uh, we were talking about some of the big names that were part of the 7-Eleven uh, fun run in the past. And right now, do you feel that there could be uh, a future famous runner who will participate in 7-Eleven virtual run? Yeah? Yeah, actually, we we have uh, a lot of 
uh, runners who started with 7-11 run series. To name a few, we have Mary Joy Tabal, who is one of the Olympians right now. We have Richard Solano, who is the star within the SEA Games, and also uh, Christina Organiza, who, who won the SEA Games, uh, the last SEA Games. And there's still a lot more that we are looking uh, into for us to develop and encourage them to participate no eventually to be more competitive coming from a fun run into a competitive run and eventually to to, to give them that aspiration to represent the country and their family yeah yun ang pinaka 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 hinihintay ng bawat isang runners na so very exciting times and i'm sure there are a lot of people that you want to thank for helping make this happen for 711 yeah I, I would like to thank in the bottom of our heart on behalf of the company all of our major sponsor and especially our media partner smart tv5 bldt one sport signal and of course radio fight all right sir thank you very much can you invite all our viewers to be part of history to register for this year 7-eleven virtual run Please uh, try to register now. Uh, we'll be extending the registration until November 6. Uh, you still have time for you to click those buttons and hopefully you'll enjoy the run. All right. Thank you very much. That was Mr. Jun Ang, the General Merchandise Division Head of 7-Eleven. We hope to see you putting in those miles, putting in those kilometers and being part of the 7-Eleven Virtual Run 2021. Sir, salamat po ulit.